pretty, blingy, girly, fun, good times. They're great little things. The little things. They're, you're a great little thing. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got Friday favorites and foodies for you today and it was a total hodgepodge this week. I was just playing with a lot of different makeup things. So my favorites are more so like standouts for the week, not necessarily that I was wearing them the whole week. You know what I mean? One thing I definitely wore like the whole week and even the week before that I love so, so much. But the other things are more just when I wore them, I really loved them. So I want to mention them to you. So let's jump into it. So I totally forgot to grab the polish that I was wearing this week, but it is LVX something. I, don't mind my crooked finger. <laughs> this finger has been crooked my whole life. I don't know why, but it just is. So don't mind my crooked finger, but Anyway, this is LVX something. Got it in my BoxyCharm box. I really like it. It's worn really well. You know, some of them are chipping, but I was I was opening makeup things this week. So, you know, your nails kind of get jacked up when you're doing that. But anyway, it's a really pretty polish. Love the color, love how it applied. It's five free, so it's good polish. And I've also been trying out the Lorac Pro 3 palette because I'm gonna have a review for you guys coming up really soon. Possibly this weekend, probably this weekend. Um, but it's a really pretty palette. I'll kind of leave like my final overall thoughts on it for that video, but I was wearing it this week. Um, mainly some of the lighter colors, pretty much. But I mean, I would bring in a couple of the darker ones just to kind of deepen up. I guess I was playing with most of the palette, other than I didn't really use the darkest shades, I don't think. But anyway, more thoughts on this palette coming soon. But oh my goodness, this has been the standout this week and also last week too. Just look at it. I mean, that just makes me happy. That is so pretty, blingy, girly, fun, good times. I love it. This is the brand Your Best Friend. So it's from HSN and I really like her. She seems like a really, really sweet person and just I like the way she does her presentations, like she takes off her whole makeup and she kind of gets ready like on air and talks about the different products she's using. So I like watching when she's on there, but this palette is so good. This is the Empowering 8 Eyeshadows. So love the packaging, can't get over the stinking packaging, but these are really good shadows. Really, really good. So you get the four mattes and the four shimmers here and it's just beautiful. It is such good quality. I have this on my eyes today, this one, this one, and a little bit of this one, and actually a little bit of this one too for my brow bone. So let me swatch these really quick. Okay, so there they are swatched. So I mean, you can just see, these are such nice quality. I would compare these to any high-end palette that I have. I think this is around $35 or so, so it still is a little bit pricier of a palette, but it's not $50, it's not $60, it's not $80. So I think the price point is so good on it. I mean, the quality is just outstanding. I think she said that they are made in Italy. So, you know, really, really good. The mattes just are so buttery. They blend like a dream. They're not powdery, no kick up or fallout. I mean, maybe just the tiniest little bit in the pan, but hardly anything. No fallout on the face. They wear really well throughout the day. The shimmers are really, really beautiful. You can um, apply them foiled. So I applied the lighter color, this one right here, um, foiled on the inner corner of my lids today. So what I did is I got the product on my brush and then I sprayed my brush so I didn't, you know, mess it up in the pan. But oh my gosh, I am just so impressed by this palette. I love everything about it. Skinny, compact, pretty, gorgeous, amazing quality, love the color selection, so, so good. This was definitely my standout cheek combo this week. These just work together. It's like they were made to wear together. I have this on today. Now this is a pretty statement cheek. I mean, you don't look, you look like you're wearing makeup, you know what I mean? But I still really love it. So first, the blush is the um, Bare Minerals blush in Fruit Cocktail. Don't really like the packaging on these. It kind of makes it, you know, a little bit more high maintenance to use because it's kind of a little, you know, loose pigmenty type of a blush, but it's so pretty that I can deal with it. So this is 
a pretty glowy blush by itself. I mean, you can see it there. It's It's got a glow already, but it's like a Barbie blush. I mean, it is Barbie. I love Barbie. So I will take a Barbie blush any day. So it's like a mid-tone, not really full-on bubblegum, but it's in between the two, kind of in between bubblegum pink and mid-tone pink, but it's got that like sheen and glow to it. So, I mean, you could just wear this by itself and get a pretty glowy blush look. But if you want to kick it up a notch, then you can wear it with a highlighter like I did. And this is Dose of Colors, which look at this thing. This is huge. I mean, it's like the size of my head. This is the Dose of Colors Baked Highlighter in Pearl Dust. I mean, this is just pretty in the pan even. These are so good. I love these highlighters. They're just really nice quality, very finely milled. They, I mean, what? That is amazing. They blend into the skin so nicely. Really one of the best highlighter formulas in my opinion. I have this one and the peachy one, but she comes out with more. I'd be all over that because they are so nice. So there they are, and then you can see on my cheeks kind of what they look like built up on each other. Oh my gosh, they're both just so gorgeous and glowy. Ugh. So you have to be going for a really girly cheek. You have to be going for, you don't have to mind looking like you're wearing makeup and very, very glowy. I mean, super glowy, but really pretty. And then I have a lot of pink lip favorites this week. So first off, I pulled out one of my old faithfuls that I haven't worn in a long time. But if you're looking for just a great everyday lip color from the drugstore, this is one that you should get. This is the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain in Honey. This is just a beautiful, neutral, slightly mauve pink. But it, I mean, it's just a staple, never fail you sort of color. This would be a beautiful bridal color. And these are pretty long wearing, which is really nice. They almost have like a little bit of like a tackiness to them, but that makes them more long wearing and they have a little bit of a stain as well. So yeah, they're great little things, little things. They're, you're a great little thing. They're great little lip products. Um, and I kind of forget about them. You know, it's one of those things that when I wore it, I was like, oh man, I used to love these. So I need to show these more love because they're really, really nice and Honey is just a great staple one. And then right now I'm wearing kind of a combo of these three, but I wore this one with a liner and then I wore these two together this week. So first off, this is Maybelline's Creamy Matte in Blushing Palette, which I've mentioned this before. This is one of my very favorites. I mean, I love all the creamy mattes, but this is one of my favorite shades from that line. And this is just a beautiful, kind of muted, cool tone pink. It's so pretty. It just, I don't know, something about it, it honestly kind of reminds me of Kitty Purry. But I think Kitty Purry is a little bit more purpley, but it's sort of in that family, like a purpley sort of a pink. But it's just got this like muted quality to it that's really, really pretty. And the creamy mattes, I mean, they're just amazing. You can't go wrong with any of the creamy mattes pretty much, but Blushing Pout is one of my very favorites. And then with that, I wore the Butter Gloss, the NYX Butter Gloss in Eclair, which again, this is one of my very favorites from the NYX Butter Gloss line. Love all of them pretty much, but this one is one of my go-tos. And kind of same thing. It's sort of like a cool tone pink, but this one, I mean, they just look like they were like meant to go together. They really do. It's just like basically a glossier, lighter version of Blushing Pout. Maybe just a little bit less cool toned, maybe a little bit warmer, but they're really close and they are so pretty together. I pretty much have these on today, but then I have a little bit of the next one I'm about to show you. So changes it just a little bit, but just a really sweet pink lip. And I have been all about the metallic lip trend recently, so I'm going to be doing a video for y'all all about metallic lip options in the drugstore. So you can watch for that. So that was really fun to do, but I've just really been loving this lipstick recently. And it's so funny because a year ago I would have looked at this and been like, no, thank you. I don't like that. But now I'm all about it. This is the Milani Color Statement Lipstick in Pink Frost. 
and it is a light 80s bubblegum metallic pink and I just stink and love it. I just stink and love it. I mean, really. It is so fun, so 80s. I've mentioned that before that I just, you know, I like that kind of like 80s look, but this one is like really pretty over the top. I mean, it is so reflective. But what I did is I wore it with a lip liner. This is Jordana's Baby Berry, one of my go-tos. So when you wear it with a lip liner, kind of blends it into it. Or even like I did today, I just popped a little bit on the inner part of my lips. It just adds a little bit of sheen and dimension to your lips so it doesn't look so crazy and scary. But, I mean, you can go full on with it too just to be really fun and out there with your makeup. But I just think it's so funny. It's like, these kind of colors really have been in the drugstore for forever. You know what I mean? And now suddenly they're like having a comeback and so you can find some really great options in the drugstore. So I'm really excited about that video. It will be coming very soon. All right guys, so those are all my favorites for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and let me know down below what you were loving this week, or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.